converting pressures to decibels. Previously, we have already practiced this. And if you refer to your textbook on this page, number 52, it shows you the recap version before. Now, if you look at your textbook, it also shows you how they, have, they are doing it with introduction. You know, they are doing conversions, even though it's like a working step, but they also show it, they present it to you through a story problem. Okay? So, really, at primary five, all the skills, even you are talking about core operation, ultimately, you need to know how to apply them. Okay? Doing the sums is level one. Using the skills to solve problems, that's what the level you need to teach. So for example, here shows you the story of a three kilogram cake shared equally among five people. How much cake does each person get? Now, you can see how the answer can be achieved. Method number one, you can get it through a test, uh, through a fraction. So here shows you, we already learned now how we can do division of whole numbers and get fraction three. Then we use our primary four skills of finding equivalent fraction where denominator is 10, 100 or 1000 and convert it into decimal. Or method number two, since the questions here already states that you want the answer as a decibel, you don't have to do five fractions first. You can just do three divided by five, and there you have the long division for decimals, you'll get 0 0.6. If finally, don't forget the units kilogram. Now, so there are, now that we are primary five, there are a few ways to solve problems. Okay? What we need to do is to understand which, how both of them works, and which problem, which method is easier and faster. Okay? Sometimes you'll choose method one. Sometimes you'll choose method two. Sometimes you choose method three. If you look at the workbook here, it shows you the three different methods. For skills, we know all the three skills. I can kick a soccer ball with the front of my foot, the side of my foot, or the shoe legs, right? So I can kick the ball with the here, okay, the side of the foot. Ah, kick this way, right? I can kick with my shoe leg here. Kick this way, slide kick. Okay, but never kick with a toes because your toes are kick. Okay, or you can kick in different ways. I have to practice these different skills. But eventually, I will not be able to play soccer if I don't know how to use the skill. Okay, I can practice, 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 but we can't play a game. I can't score. I kick and then the ball oh, go out of court. My friend says, pass the ball, pass the ball, pass the ball. Okay. You try to kick. Oh, I practice this very long already. Let me kick this. Kick. And then the, hey, I'm here. Why are you passing the ball yet? That's, that's where you use the skill. You practice the skill, but you don't know how to use the skill properly. Okay? That's where the problems come. What problems is like a game, a soccer game. And you need the proper skills to solve. In the same way, you may know, oh, I know how to play soccer on the phone. Very good. Now I pass, pass, uh, this person shy me, right? I click, press, pass the ball. X the ball, hurry. Really. Zero means the person free. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Click, go. Very good. You know all the game, huh? Oh, oh, the people, oh, oh, cannot use our, uh, can control in. But in other situations, you cannot use them more. Right? 
Ah, okay. Wow, all these skills, all these game moves, very good, very good. But then come to a real soccer game. Uh, I know my pass, but uh, I never really pass a real ball before. I only press the button. You know what I'm talking about? So you may know how to solve a problem. You think you can understand. But then suddenly, uh, the answer asks the decimal. But then I don't know how to convert question to decimal. <laughs> Big problem already. Okay? The question asks for grams. But I got my answer in kilograms. I don't know how to convert. Then problem already. Okay? Now, so, there are a few methods here. We will just work with one method. I give you five minutes to try. Question A to F. In, are there one, six questions, right? Six questions, five minutes, okay? Okay, start now. Okay, so the reason why I wrote this at the top is so that I can conclude the problems, I can solve these problems quickly. Oh, sorry. So, looking at this one, I have 3 and 50, so I can do times 2, times 2, that will get me 6 and 100. So the number of zeros in the denominator tells me after the decimal point, how many spaces are there? There are two spaces, so I write 0 0.06. Now, this one, 25 is here, so times four, times four. So 14 times four is 64. Hey, sorry, 14 times four is 56. Okay, so I have 56 out of 100. As I talked about it earlier. Sorry, oops. I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry, so my, my, I'm trying to multitask. My brain is moving faster than I, my finger. Okay, is this correct now? Okay, sorry about the mistake. Okay, so behind the decimal point, two spaces, so I have 56. Yeah, so 0 0.56. All good so far? Okay, moving on. So I have times 5, times 5, 17 times 5. So I have 5, 3, 85. 85 out of 100. So after the decimal point, two spaces, it's 5. Don't forget the 0 in front, 0 0.85. So this one times 25, times 25 is 75 out of 100. So it will be 0 0.75. This one, 8 times 125 times 125 will be 1, 1, 2, 5 times 5. So it will be 1,000, right? 1,000 and then 5, 625. So after the decimal point, there are three spaces, 0 0.625. Okay, times eight, times eight, eight times eight is 64, 64 out of a thousand. Then you have, after the decimal point, you have three spaces. So you put in the number, don't forget the zero, zero point zero six four. Okay, okay, everybody. Okay, this is being recorded. If you didn't catch up, then you catch up. Moving on. Now, here, the next page, on page 60, it says, Convert each fraction to a decimal and round it to two decimal places. Can you compare this question? And the question before it just says, express each fraction as a decimal. Now, can you tell me, just from the question itself, what clues do you have for this one? Which method will you like to use? Why do you think there are two places here? Yeah, you probably choose long division because seven. No. 
So remember, we know this one, fraction as a whole number, it is equal to 12 divided by 7. This is equal to 5 divided by 8. And this is equal to 11 divided by 3. By what we've learned just in the previous unit yesterday. Now, you realize that I will choose the long division method because the denominator, they are not factors of 10, 100, and 1,000. Very good. So in this way, only long division works better. Oh, I made a mistake. I heard the bell and I started to panic. And you see the long division continues like there is, you, it's never ending. So it's never ending. So 12 divided by seven, give you a decimal that is 1.714 and on and on and on and on and on. Now round it to two decimal places. Don't forget the curly whirly symbol. One point. Seven one to two decimal places. Five divided by eight. That's where you can't do the division. This afternoon, you go catch up on this. Okay? All right? Okay? Does this feel manageable for you? Okay. Check out your things. Go for my lesson.